Okay, uh, good evening everybody. Uh, we are here for bargaining session number three. The date is August 15th. Um, I'd like to start with introductions. My name is Christine Schrode. I'm chief negotiator for the school board. Brian assistant superintendent of finance. Don Calderon, director of risk management and employee benefits with the district. Lisa Estevez, Assistant Superintendent of Student Support Services, Martin County School District. Ariane Deneen, MCEA. Kimberly Love, MC. Kimberly Love, MCEA. Pat Holtz, MCEA. Susan Rayo, MCEA. Lonnie Barch, MCEA. Matt Theobald, President, MCEA. Gary Simmons, Chief Negotiator, FEA. Daniel Grostiaga, MCEA. Uh, Sherry Richardson, Coordinator of Professional Standards. Okay, so um, a recap of our last session, which was held on August 4th, uh, the, the district indicated that our previous proposal had some misalignments in, in the charts that we provided. So the district withdrew their previous proposal and replaced it with uh, an updated chart, still had the same bar, uh, base salary of 49.5, um, addressed some of those compression issues in the middle. Um, so today we are going to listen to uh, MCEA's response to that, but before we get into that, I do have one housekeeping matter. Um, we're a little bit concerned regarding the timing of all of this since we all know we have that October 1st uh, deadline that we have to have a board approved plan into the Florida Department of Ed. Um, so right now we started looking at the, the next board meeting, which is September 19th. Uh, we need to post the agenda by the close of business on September 12th. So, um, you know, the absolute drop dead latest time we could put a ratified um, agreement would be September 14th. So we're really kind of in crunch time now. And I guess my question to you guys would be how long do you think it would take uh, to ratify and um, I guess we need to kind of look at scheduling so that we can hopefully accomplish that deadline. So I'll, I'll leave that to you to answer. We just wanted to put that out there that, you know, we really are starting to get into the crunch time here. Yeah, well, um, we, we do recognize the, the urgency, so it's not just felt on, on one party. Yep. Um, we definitely don't want to be one of the, the last ones to get this, to get this done. And um, if we're able to reach an agreement, uh, we can assure you that we'll, we'll do everything within our respective powers to get our um, agreement ratified as, as swiftly as possible to satisfy the, the timeline that has just been expressed. Great. That's, that's good to hear. So with that said, I will turn the floor over to you. Okay. Thank you. So as, as um, stated, that there was a proposal that was placed on the table for the very first um, session that we had and um, in agreement with the, the recap that you provided uh, the district recognized that there's some uh, there was some misalignments and withdrew that and placed a, a, another proposal on the table uh, we do understand the circumstances that, that gave rise to, to that decision I don't know how many times um, in these sessions that we had conversations about making sure that our our apple cart is, is right and everything is this balance so we understand and respect that. Uh, we, we had an opportunity to look over the, the proposal and we just made a, a couple tweaks uh, to it. We noticed that in the district's proposal there were, there, there remained an excess amount of 4,338 of the 1.235838 available through the TSIA distribution allocated for this county. So we took a, a crack at a, a proposal to just spread a little bit more to make our folks um, a little bit more comfortable to, to vote yes in a ratification. Some of, I know may, you may be aware or you may not uh, be aware, but MCA does share um, the highlights of, of the bargaining session within 24 hours after we've, we've um, had these, these sessions. And, and as we did in, in all of the sessions, we did that in the first session. 
and we did have a, a lot of excitement over the district's attention to the middle of the of the salary schedule and the, and the money that was placed there. Um, in some instances, we lost quite a bit um, in it, especially in the middle. We had some losing as, as much as 2,400 in the middle and, and as little as, as um, 200. But we wanted to try to address those areas and make that, that um, hit as minimal as, as possible. So what I would like to do is just pass around the version of the TSIA that we came up with. And by the time this gets around to you, Carter and Christine, you'll have the electronic versions in your email. I'm ready for you. at in comparison it, it would be helpful I know our teams have our team has a physical printout of, of your proposal from the last session but it, it's helpful to look at these two documents uh, side by side um, that's what we did when we created the document and what, what our proposal does it doesn't create as much um, separation as the district's previous proposal and there's a reason why um, to create that separation we have to um, place that that um, separation to um, an, an applied amount of, of people. And in, at the beginning of this salary schedule, we have the majority of our employees here in, in the school district. So what we wanted to do was to maintain the 49.5 starting salary, but um, we decreased a little bit of, of money to um, the next group. So ours. Ours keep 49.5 through the first three skyward steps and then um, onward. I think the, the biggest elephant in the room with respect to our proposal is the deficit amount. And um, we have a, a deficit of $162. So this costs um, $162 more than the TSIA allocated for the school district. But um, we, we tried several different several different mechanisms or, or ways to, to distribute this money in which we felt fairly about. And um, this is what we were, were able to, to come up with. Uh, the hardest sell on, on the district's initial proposal, and you'll see that that's uh, addressed a little bit in our, in our proposal, is the amount of money that was going to our folks towards the end of the salary schedule. In the district's proposal, a lot of them were only receiving uh, Three hundred dollars. Uh, we added another one hundred uh, to that to, to their um, increase, and and it's it's now four hundred. So we just tried to do a little bit more to, to take care of, of those folks towards the the end of the, the salary schedule. So that's the district's uh, proposal. I mean the union's proposal for the district's consideration. I have already sent you the electronic um, version. Uh, of this, and Carter, there's a, a tab on there called um, analysis, and that's just the tab that we utilize to show the um, amount of, of decrease our folks in the middle has, um, has has experienced. So that's the the motivation behind this this um, proposal. So we wanted to include that tab just to show the foundation of our thinking. like to caucus to take a look at these numbers. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can someone get the lights a little bit yeah. or that's small. We are back on. It's five fifteen.
Alright, so thank you very much for your proposal, CEA. Let me kind of walk you through, in my mind, positives. The last time we gave you a file, right? Mm -hmm. We explained that HR was still in the process of hiring people, placing people, etc. There were 1,121 MBUs on the records on there at the time, as we, we know what happened if you're in shoot. <laughs> sure do. So I know that I have 1,220 MBUs in my budget, which is why you see the 1,222 on there. Mm -hmm. The file that I'm going to send you, this payroll today, a matter of fact, my staff is working on it right now, has 1,198 MBUs processed. Okay? Now, in this cell, on the file that I gave you before, mm -hmm. was an assumption of 159 MBUs at that level. And the reason we came to that was if you take the dollars and you take the number of MBUs, the average raise was about $1,100. So we put them there, okay? So if you go in that cell, you'll see an adjustment in there for 112 MBUs to get my number to 1220. You with me so far? I uh, am. Yeah. Now, here's the good news for you. After HR has processed the 1,189 MBUs, you'll notice that this number used to be 236. Right. Yeah. It's now 277. They're coming in at $800. <coughs> what I reserved for you at $1,100. So when we redid everything, you had more money to spend. Make sense? Makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we did was we took the numbers in this column from your spreadsheet, mm -hmm. literally copied and pasted them in there. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple things that we saw. I don't have my, I think I have my favorite word. So go down to step 33 uh -huh. on your proposal. Yeah. You're currently at 54000 at that step. Mm -hmm. And if you add $700 to it, it should be 54.7. Do you see 54.6 on your paper? Yes, mm -hmm. I see. That. Okay. So what that did, that had a ripple effect, I'm learning from Karen, down the schedule, <laughs> not up the schedule. So what happened is when you plugged your numbers in, where you had your 400 mm -hmm. was now showing 300. Okay. So what we did, we took some of that money that was left over approximately $18,000, and we matched your 400 for those MBUs. So if you notice, you'll see 400. And I highlighted step 37, because that's where the error is starting to happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so everybody, you matched your 400, so everybody got the 400 going down. Then we had a little bit of money left over. So you see what I have here, I put math correction? Mm -hmm. Is that step 33? Okay. Okay. So then we took, again, your numbers and we pasted them in. So what we did, we made some slight adjustments on step seven. Uh -huh. We added $300 there. Okay. It was, uh, so 51.6, so it would have been 51.3. Mm -hmm. Let me just check, my, check myself yep. here. Yep. yep. And at step 13, mm -hmm. would have been 52.3, we added another $300 there. Correct? Correct. And then at step <coughs> 16 was 52.6. We bumped that up to 52.8. We added the $200 there. Okay. So at the end of the day, by now what you'll see in here, the same cell, that used to be, if you look in the, if you can see that, <coughs> the adjustment used to be 112. Right. It's now 32 because we're still have that for the vacancies, mm -hmm. okay? So at the end of the day, we got $38 left when we, spread, when we made those adjustments. That's better than a deficit of 162. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm going to try to email you this file somehow. If you let me go over there, you guys can, we're trying to print it, but apparently Tyson was the only one who could print, or, so we're trying to get you that so you can, Okay. Review it. Or I can leave it up and you can 
Yeah, I think that would probably just be best to Better. leave it up and then we can caucus in, in here. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. So coming back from our, our caucus, we had an opportunity to review uh, the counter proposal of what we placed on the table that the district was able to muster. And um, first and foremost, I think that um, I wanted to, to say that the, the appreciation is definitely there because an opportunity to reject the proposal because of, of incorrect math aspects, that route could have been taken, but instead, in a collaborative effort, took a look at the math, found the shortcomings in it, and offered a solution um, towards getting what, what we all want, which is an agreement on the TSIA. Um, in our conversations, we recognize that there are um, areas in the salary schedule that still needs our attention, and we're committed to, to work with the school district in the next upcoming bargaining sessions to address those areas that we fall short. Strategically, it would be very disadvantageous for us to um, hold up this process for, for those areas. Um, we couldn't find a, a viable solution to, to not, to hold up the, this process any longer. So after reviewing it um, and taking into consideration the district's reconfiguration, um, MCEA is, is willing to to um, tentatively agree to this TSIA as recently proposed. That is fantastic news. Um, we appreciate everybody working together. I think this was very quick and, and I, I really hope that we can continue this collaborative spirit moving forward. Um, I'd like to get a signed TA, so if we can probably go off record now, we're gonna try to figure out how we can print over here, if that's at all possible, um, okay. so that we can walk away tonight with that signed TA. Okay. Um, but we appreciate this, and then uh, we look forward to starting in on our next negotiations. And just, just for, um, for records purposes, if the printing is not able to be accomplished, I do have the ability to, for Matt and myself to sign off on, um, on a PDF file oh, as, okay. as well. So if it's emailed, uh, we can we can put our, our signatures on Okay. It. So I can log back and convert it to a PDF mm -hmm. and send it to you again, because I, what I sent you was the Excel, because I know you want to. Yep. So I can do that, send it to you again, you can do that. Yep, so we can definitely, uh, I'm not discouraging you from attempting to print, but if right. that's not a possibility, then we can, we can, can resolve it. Yeah. yeah. Try and okay, see I think, I think oh, we are, so unless there's good. anything else, I think we're good to go off the record. Okay, thank you everyone.